some of my teachers would describe this practice of awareness and mindfulness, conscious attention, loving presence, like a dance. Like a dance of the mind, a dance of awareness, a dance to relearning our relationship with thoughts and ideas, biases, opinions, preferences, a dance. But sometimes this dance can feel like a tango. And sometimes maybe the dance is a little swirly. It's a little energetic. Maybe it's more soft. And for me, within this dance, I always ask, who's leading? Is it awareness? Is it mindful attention? Is it mindful and kindful attention? Or who is leading the dance? Is it the, am I, am I good enough? Mm, poor me. Okay, when will this happen? Come on. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So who's leading your dance? I've named, jokingly, hopefully, <laughs> different characters that might arise in the mind. And who's leading the dance at that point? Is it a conditioned habit? Is it a belief system? Or truly, could we have a dance with? Oh, look at there's poor me again. Oh, look at there's what am I doing with my life again? Oh, look at I know this part of cat. Confusion. So who's leading? And it's my hope that when we kind of bring awareness, conscious attention towards present moment, this dance becomes much more seamless and respectful, moving with kind of the instruments, moving with the rhythm of life, and really seeing who's leading. I hope what we're hearing is in this is sometimes when what's being led takes us away from the body, from present moment, our well-ingrained habits, ideas perhaps of who, what, where we are, it can be very painful, very natural, but very painful. So I'm inviting you to have a dance with these natural arisings of thoughts and feelings and memories, but have a dance and just always check in who's leading. Is it skillful? helpful, true, supportive, who's leading? Let's put on some music and have a little dance. <laughs> Thank you.